Hi everybody, welcome to Quarantine Movie Club. It's Monday again, and we're going to start on a new movie this week. This week's focus film is going to be The Emperor's New Groove, made in 2000. I'll read y'all a real quick summary real quick, in case you haven't seen it. It's really good if you haven't. It's an, it's a not a Pixar, it's just a regular animation cartoon. Arrogant young Emperor Cusco is transformed into a llama by his power-hungry advisor, the devious diva Yzma. Stranded in the jungle, Cusco's only chance to get back home and reclaim his high life rests with a good-hearted peasant named Pacha. Together, they must return Cusco to the throne before Yzma tracks him down and finishes him off. This is like the funniest movie of my childhood. Like, it's really, really funny. Watched it last night again, just to be sure. Still funny. So, actually, the only cool background information I found about it was uh, that it was actually supposed to be a musical. Like, a real musical, every five minutes, everybody sings kind of thing. I'm glad it wasn't. I don't think it would have been as funny. But, uh, that's the only thing I have. It took six years for it to be developed. It started in 1994 with the movie. But, really awesome, like I said. Um... Okay, so that was our background information and our summary. So we'll start with our focus for this week. Our focus this week is going to be point of view. We already did character development. We already did mood and atmosphere. We already did, um, last week, conflict. We already did conflict. So we're moving on to point of view this week. And a lot of people kind of um, aren't really exactly sure what point of view means. So I, I looked up a more like solid definition for y'all. Point of view is the angle of considering things, which shows us the opinion or feelings of the individuals involved in a situation. In literature, point of view is the mode of narration that an author employs to let the readers hear and see what takes place in a story. So while you're watching this, just consider the narration style from the narrator, and you'll find out who the narrator is. What does the narrator bring to the story that just watching the movie doesn't give you? Um, think about the point of view from that character, and then think about the point of view that it would be if it was narrated by a different character. So kind of, like, be able to step outside of your shoes and into their shoes and into the movie and into their situations and try to see if you could imagine it a different way or break it down and see what he's bringing to the story that we would normally get. Um, mm, pretty short video today. Next thing I have for you is our focus questions. I took paper notes and it's really messy. So I'll give me a second. All right, the first one, and I will type these out like I do every single week. <clears throat> Why do the creators of this movie choose Cusco as the narrator? That's your number one. Number two. I like asking you guys about motivation. So what is Kronk's motivation? His main motivation. Remember from the Odyssey. What is his motivation? All right. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, number three. Why a llama? I wanted to ask y'all because I've always wondered to myself. Why a llama? Why does he get turned into a llama? Number four. We're going back to next week's topic of conflict. What is the main conflict or main conflicts of the movie main conflict and number five my favorite what is the overall theme or main idea of the whole movie so keep an eye out for that All right, i'm gonna try i'm really i'm working on my house right now when i'm not doing this or schoolwork. so i'm gonna be much better this week about posting you guys some other resources maybe some nonfiction to go with this uh maybe a spinach puff recipe I don't know. So I'll try to be better at posting those other things. Uh, just a reminder, you guys, y'all welcome to comment on any of these videos, any of these Facebook posts. Um, you're welcome to email me at my school email, which I think is on my website and on my Facebook page as well. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the Quarantine Movie Club. I'm actually enjoying doing it. I'm not sure if I'll even, may even consider going into the summer and doing it, but school's almost over, guys. I mean, it feels like it's been over for a while, but it's been a pleasure, and I will see you on Friday. I hope you all enjoy The Emperor's New Groove. It's a favorite of mine. Watch out for all the, the funny jokes. All right, see y'all Friday.